I'd like to welcome you all here tonight. Uh, fortunately, there were two forces at work that have made tonight possible and made it a reality. Uh, the first force is the generosity of our guest, Mr. McGibbon. I would like to thank him right now uh, for joining us here tonight and making it possible. Please give a warm welcome to Bill McKibben. It is very, very good to be here with you. Of course I would come to camp uh, and talk. This is one of the um, places I love best in the world. You know, I lived much of my life in the Adirondacks down by North Creek. The first book about climate change came out 26 years ago by you before most of you were born, alright? Um, we knew a lot about global warming 25 years ago. We knew that when you burn coal, gas, oil, you put carbon into the atmosphere, and we knew that the molecular structure of carbon dioxide trapped heat that would otherwise radiate back out to space. We knew that it was going to get warm. We did not know how fast this was going to happen and how hard it was going to pinch. And the story of the last 25 years is it is happening a lot faster and pinching a hell of a lot harder than we thought it would. The thing that makes it particularly annoying is how unnecessary it is. A, the scientists have done a good job in warning us what's going on. We have all the warning that we need. B, the engineers have done a terrific job too. They have, over the last quarter century, provided most of the technology that we would need to change the ways in which we power our lives. If we have sufficient warning that this is underway, and if we have the technology that we would need to begin to address it, why are we not making use of that technology? We can't stop the world from warming, but the best science would indicate that we might still be able to keep it from getting entirely out of control. We have a narrow window in which to do that, and that window is closed, which is why it feels urgent to me that we act. It's why I've spent a long time out, you know, traveling, talking, and you know, going to jail, whatever it is. And it's why we, some of you, most of you, maybe all of you, are doing some of the same things. All we're asking for is a planet that works the way it's worked for the last 10,000 years. That's not rapid, that's conservative if you think about it. You're going to give it a hell of a fight. And it is a great pleasure to be in a room full of people, many of whom I know will join in this fight, and I look forward to being shoulder to shoulder with it all. Thank you.